Hey guys, today we have us an apartment and I believe they said nothing is working. This is a heat pump with an upflow air handler and almost all of these have some kind of float switch. So let's go in and see what's going on. Alright, what the the tenant here was explaining was it will not shut off like the heat will not shut off they had to kill it at this breaker right here to get it to shut off see we have us a um, forgive me we have us a um, sequencer off in auto alright let me get my meter out and see what's going on. I'm pulling 21 amps. But I'm gonna try to show you something. I'm pulling 21 amps on this wire. So you would think I'd be pulling 21 amps on this one. And I'm pulling zero. I'll show you what I'm testing here. But if I come over here to this purple one, Also pulling 21 amps. That purple one is going to be what goes to my blower relay right there. So that tells me that blower relay is stuck and it's not my sequencer. I'm going to go over that one more time. All right. Heat strips pulling 21 amps. But power from the contactor right here is not pulling 21 amps. This one is to energize my blower when the heat when the sequencer is energized. But it is pulling 21 amps, this wire right here. So that tells me that my blower relay right over here is stuck. We're gonna need a new blower control board. This wire goes through this Molex plug and comes out over here. Okay, everything I need to do to replace, I just mounted this relay. Everything I need to do to use this as my, my blower relay instead of this one is right here on this board. First of all, my green wire for my fan. off and put it up here let's see what we're gonna need common let me get a splitter for that and we'll put both of our commons up here
All right, so we got green for our blower, common, and now we need to hook up these wires here. Now this is the wire that was coming from our sequencer right here. So it needs to go on normally closed, which is right there. Our power all the time, which is this one. As you can be able to see, it goes right over there to the transformer. And it goes right here on normally open. And then the blower speed we're going to use, which is on the relay right here, is low. It goes over here. Alright, so now let's put power to it. And on. Um, as you can see, the blower's not coming on. I have checked my heat strip here. It's not pulling any amps. Now the one thing this does do, it takes away the time delay on the blower motor. So I'm gonna go to the thermostat and I'm gonna turn on the blower and turn it off. So now the blower cycles off and the heat strip is not running. While we're here, let's go ahead and turn it on and um, check pressures. Kind of looks like they had a fire over here. They did. What in the world? Oh my, what happened? What happened? All right, I got it running in cool and it is 74 degrees inside. This is an older system and it looks like the evaporator coil has not been changed. That's why I'm checking this. <clears throat> if these systems are known for anything, it's leaks. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
that's actually not pretty that's not bad at all for this is r410 so i'm most paying attention to this number right here in this temperature so we're at 40 degrees at 74 degrees inside uh, 40 degree saturation temperature if it were low at these temperatures it's 61 degrees this would be near freezing up so you know what i'm i'm gonna check sub cooling but um i'm pretty good with this sub cooling about two degrees this does have a TXV on it everything here was on fire low super heat Excuse me, high superheat and low sub cooling. Maybe it is a little bit low with the suction pressure. Look at that, this is burnt in half. All right, let's go get a little bit of free on. We're gonna to top this one off. y'all can see that okay that may not help 209 I got 1.7 degrees sub cooling 20 degrees superheat Watch that superheat because it can go down to zero real fast. Mm -hmm. I hope I can get a little bit in here before it satisfies the thermostat. Subcooling is not really changing. I'm adding just a little bit at a time. Superheat is coming down. We're at 61 degrees out here. Watch it. That subcooling just is not going to change, is it? I'm 
I'm gonna leave it right here and I may go in and do a leak search on the evaporator coil. I thought I was on a flash there for a second. I did auto zero again. Nothing with this one. Well, that one's done. I um, I did not find any leaks inside, and I didn't really search outside. The um, all that burnt Romex uh, seal tight and whatnot. I did submit an estimate to replace. All the seal type for thermostat wires and replace the power wiring and whatnot that needs to be replaced for both of those condensers over there so that would be a nice little job if i get it thanks for watching guys like and subscribe if you haven't already i'll catch y'all on the next one